In this video, we're going to take a quick look at a one way we can find a least common denominator, or a least common multiple, of two numbers. What a least common multiple is, it's the smallest number that is a multiple of both of the numbers in our list. When we talk about a least common denominator, it's the same thing, just in the context of fractions, those numbers came out of the denominator of a fraction. But the way we calculate them both is really the same. We need to be careful, a common error with least common multiples, people often accidentally give the greatest common factor. And there's a lot of similarities between both, and it kind of feels like an opposite relationship between them, in that the least common multiple will either be equal to the bigger number, or be bigger than that, while the greatest common factor will be either the smallest number or smaller than that. And so there's kind of this reverse feeling that the least common multiple is bigger and the greatest common factor is smaller. So be very careful not to get those mixed up. In this problem with 8 and 12, we're looking for the smallest thing that is a multiple of both 8 and 12. And one really inefficient way of finding this is you might list out a couple multiples of 8. 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 5, or 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, and so on. And then we might also list out several factors of 12. 12 times 1 is 12, or sorry, I, I got them mixed up there. Multiples of 12, 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 4 is 48, 12 times 5 is 60, and we could keep going on making multiples of 12. The idea of a common multiple is we're looking for numbers that appear in both of these lists. And specifically, we want the least common multiple, or the smallest number that appears in both lists. Because the number 24 is the first number that appears in both lists, we say the least common multiple of both is 24. However, that's not a very efficient way of finding a least common multiple. So what I want to do is try and, uh, make it a little bit more direct. And there's several ways to make it more direct. Some of the processes become much more complex than we need to go into for now. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the one way that I think is the fastest way to achieve a quick and easy least common multiple. That is, we're going to focus on the large number only, and we're going to find multiples of the large number. And we're looking for the first one that I can also divide by the small number. So looking for multiples of 12, the first multiple of 12 would be 12 times 1. Well, we can't do 12 divided by 8. 12 divided by 8 is 1 with a remainder of, it doesn't matter. 12 doesn't work. And so then we'd multiply the large number by 2. 12 times 2 is 24. And then we would ask ourselves, can we divide this by the other number? And sure enough, we can. 24 divided by 8 is a whole 3, and that means 24 is the least common multiple. So that's kind of a quicker way to get at the least common multiple. For what we're going to do, that's going to probably be sufficient enough for us to be able to move on and work with these in terms of fractions and least common denominators. We look at multiples of the large number and find the first one. We can also divide by the smaller number. 